If you're looking to speak Spanish with confidence, then these phrases are a great place to begin. In this video, I'll take you through 10 phrases along with three simple responses for each one. Whether you're just getting started in the Spanish language or you're looking to improve your Spanish vocabulary, these phrases will help you communicate with confidence. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation of Spanish phrases that will make you sound more fluent. And just to let you know that if you want to continue your learning after this video, then I have a free Spanish course that's available on my YouTube channel here. The course uses a unique technique that enables you to turn from complete beginner into fluent speaker from the very first lesson. The link to the course is in the description. So, okay, let's get underway with today's video. So the first word that we're going to learn today is the word for hello in Spanish. And to say hello in Spanish, it's hola, 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 hola. That's hello. Now we're going to look at three basic responses that we can use if someone says to us hola in Spanish. Okay, so first of all, we have hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hello, how's it going? Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? This is a lot more informal than hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? is used informally. But don't worry, you can use it when you're out and about. It's perfectly acceptable. And then finally, hello, nice to meet you. Hola, mucho gusto. Hola, mucho gusto. Hola, mucho gusto. Now let's take a look at some more phrases. So the next phrase that we're going to look at is good morning. And in Spanish, that's buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. It literally means good day, but it's used until midday. So it means good morning. Now let's look at three simple phrases that you can use in response to good morning in Spanish. So to first we all, first of all, we have good morning. How's your day? Buenos días. ¿Qué tal tu día? Buenos días. ¿Qué tal tu día? Buenos días. ¿Qué tal tu día? Good morning. How are you feeling today? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te sientes hoy? Lastly, we have good morning. How's it going? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te va? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te va? Buenos días. ¿Cómo te va? Now let's look at another phrase. So the next phrase that we're going to look at is buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. And that means good afternoon. Buenas tardes. So if someone says to you buenas tardes, here are three responses that you can use. First of all, good afternoon. Do you have plans for today? Buenas tardes. ¿Tienes planes para hoy? Buenas tardes. ¿Tienes planes para hoy? Buenas tardes. ¿Tienes planes para hoy? Good afternoon. How was your morning? Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estuvo tu mañana? Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estuvo tu mañana? Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estuvo tu mañana? And finally, good afternoon. Have you eaten yet? Buenas tardes. ¿Ya comiste? Buenas tardes. ¿Ya comiste? Buenas tardes. ¿Ya comiste? Now let's look at another phrase. The next phrase that we're going to look at is buenas noches, which means good night. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. And here are three responses that you can use. Good night. Sleep well. Buenas noches. 
Que descanses. Buenas noches. Que descanses. Buenas noches. Que descanses. Good night. See you tomorrow. Buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana. Buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana. Buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana. Good night. Take care. Buenas noches. Cuídate. Buenas noches. Cuídate. Buenas noches. Cuídate. Now let's look at another phrase. The next phrase that we're going to look at is ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? The double L in llamas, the double L in Spanish is pronounced as a Y. So it's llamas. ¿Cómo te llamas? And here are three responses that you can use if someone asks your name. My name's Josh. And you? Me llamo Josh. ¿Y tú? Me llamo Josh. ¿Y tú? Me llamo Josh. ¿Y tú? My name is Carlos. And you? Mi nombre es Carlos. ¿Y tú? Mi nombre es Carlos. ¿Y tú? Mi nombre es Carlos. ¿Y tú? I'm Marta. Nice to meet you. Soy Marta. Un placer conocerte. Soy Marta. Un placer conocerte. Soy Marta. Un placer conocerte. Now let's move on to the next phrase. So the next phrase that we're going to learn is mucho gusto, which means nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. And here are three responses if someone says to you mucho gusto. You can say nice to meet you too. Mucho gusto también. Mucho gusto también. Mucho gusto también. Likewise, a pleasure. Igualmente, un placer. Igualmente, un placer. Igualmente, un placer. Delighted to meet you. As a man, we would say encantado de conocerte. Encantado de conocerte. As a woman, you would change the O to an A. So you would say encantada de conocerte. Encantada de conocerte. Now let's look at another phrase. The next phrase that we're going to look at is ¿Cómo estás? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? And here are three responses. I'm well, thank you. Estoy bien, gracias. Estoy bien, gracias. Estoy bien, gracias. Very well, and you? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Not bad. Más o menos. Más o menos. Más o menos. Más o menos literally means more or less. But in this context of someone asking you how are you, it means not bad. Más o menos. Here's the next phrase. The next phrase is de donde eres? De donde eres? Where are you from? De donde eres? And here are three simple responses. I'm from Spain. And you? Soy de España. ¿Y tú? Soy de España. ¿Y tú? Soy de España. ¿Y tú? I come from Colombia. Vengo de Colombia. Vengo de Colombia. Vengo de Colombia. I was born in Peru, but I live here. Nací en Perú, pero vivo aquí. Nací en Perú, pero vivo aquí. Nací en Perú, pero vivo aquí. Here's another phrase for you. So the next phrase that we're going to look at is ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Here are three simple responses. I'm 25 years old. And you? Tengo 25 años. ¿Y tú? 
Tengo 25 años. ¿Y tú? Tengo 25 años. ¿Y tú? I'm 40. And you? Tengo 40. ¿Y tú? Tengo 40. ¿Y tú? Tengo 40. ¿Y tú? We can see here that we've dropped the words years old. I'm 40. Could be I'm 40 years old. But in Spanish, we've dropped the word años, which means years old or just years, literally speaking. We've dropped it here as well. So it's tengo 40, which means I'm 40. It also means I'm 40 years old, but we've dropped the word years old. Finally, we have I'm 18. I'm young. Tengo 18. Soy joven. Tengo 18. Soy joven. Tengo 18. Soy joven. Here's another phrase for you. So the last phrase that we're going to look at is the word gracias. Gracias, which means thank you. So if someone says thank you to you, here are three responses that you can give back. So you can say, no problem. De nada. No problem. De nada. De nada. With pleasure. Con mucho gusto. Con mucho gusto. Con mucho gusto. Or you can say finally, no, thank you. No, thank you. Gracias a ti. Gracias a ti. Gracias a ti. If you want to keep building your Spanish speaking skills and expand beyond these 10 basic phrases that I've shown you here today, then make sure to check out my free Spanish course that's available on my YouTube channel. The course will help you to ask and answer questions from the very first lesson. It will turn complete beginners like yourselves into fluent speakers. So make sure to check out the course. The link is right here. You can click on it now or the link is also in the description. I look forward to seeing you there and I'll say thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.